This is Bailey, he's our three-year-old Border Collie. Um, here at the Australian National Maritime Museum we got Bailey for seagull chasing. So he uh, came from Australian Working Dog Rescue um, as a rescue dog. We're not sure his background, um, but uh, we found him on their website and we're looking for a dog to scare away seagulls at the time. And he happened to have a good background in chasing birds and he came along and we um, took him on board. What methods did you use to deter birds from your exhibits before, Bailey? Previously we used um, water pistols, uh, spray, uh, like um, water sprinklers, and we've also used uh, things like uh, fake eagles and um, uh, kites, etc. And none of them have ever really worked for a long period, they've worked for a short time, and then the birds have uh, obviously uh, got used to that and uh, realised they weren't real and uh, came back. Where did the idea come from to begin the process of finding a suitable dog? So we did some research into ways of uh, scaring birds and um, I found that airports use dogs to chase birds away. Obviously airports have major issues with birds with planes um, and they were starting to use dogs on a regular basis and the birds uh, uh, were leaving so it seemed the best uh, idea to get a dog and uh, I took that to management and they said it's a great idea and we started looking. Was there a lot of training involved with Bailey? No, there wasn't too much training initially. Uh, Bailey had uh, already the skills of chasing birds, it's what he loved doing. Um, where he came from, his foster carer said that he loved chasing birds, so it was really uh, already in his nature to chase birds. The only thing we've had to work with him on is obviously uh, recall. Um, Obviously he likes to chase the birds so much he doesn't like coming back but uh, we've worked on that with him and he's uh, turned out really well so far. Where does Bailey live when he's not on duty and does he have much interaction with other staff at the museum? So Bailey lives uh, with our security guards at night in the control room. He uh, loves to spend time with them and also other staff. Uh, he quite regularly goes out on walks with other staff and we've set up a calendar where he can be uh, invited for meetings or invited for wa uh, walks with all the staff. So he spends quite a bit of time with other staff. He's also started going home with people uh, to get him away from the museum at night time. But uh, he's always here during the day. I see that Bailey is wearing a form of life jacket. Can you explain why that is? So because Bailey walk, uh, works so close to the water, uh, he needs a way of uh, floating in case he does end up in the harbour, which he has several times. This is just like a normal human life jacket. Uh, it keeps him above the water and uh, when he does go in the water, it, the walls are a little high so he can't actually climb out himself. So it helps him stay afloat until we can get one of the boats out to help him. How has the public taken to Bailey? Uh, the public loves Bailey. Uh, every time school kids come down, always asking for him. If I'm taking him for walks, people are stopping and asking, is that Bailey? So he really has, um, the media attention's really helped and uh, the love of dogs is incredible. We never expected this. Didn't think that people love dogs as much as they do and Bailey's really uh, basically a superstar these days. And is there particular times that he's on duty or uh, is there a chance that the public can, uh, what would be the best chance of the public to see him in action? Um, Generally he's on duty morning and afternoons, that's when the birds are around, but um, anyone that comes down the museum can ask to see Bailey and on weekends and public and school holidays we're always getting someone to walk him around through the public. So we don't have any set times, but there are you'll see him or if, he, if he's not out, more than happy for uh, people to ask to see Bailey and one of the staff members will bring him out to, to meet and greet. Thanks very much Adrian, thanks Bailey. Thank, Thank you. you.